You know, one of the most common questions among insurance agents out there, especially the newer agents, is what is an FMO and well, why do I need one? Uh, so in this short video, we're going to explain what an FMO is, what their purpose is, and some of the benefits you might expect or should look for when choosing to work through any FMO. So stay tuned, and if you're not already, be sure and subscribe to our channel. That way, we can continue bringing you relevant content so that not only you stay informed, but you stay ahead of the curve, and as you work to elevate your business in the Medicare space. So first and foremost, what is an insurance FMO? Well, at the very most basic level, an FMO, or field marketing organization, uh, or an IMO, insurance marketing organization, is a company that offers insurance products and services uh, to independent agents and agencies. Now, most FMOs will normally offer services above and beyond uh, just the insurance products, and the services that they offer is gonna vary from one to the next. So first and foremost, do you really need an FMO to get contracted with a carrier? Well, while there, air, there are a small handful of carriers that you can contract with directly, the vast majority of name brand products that are out there that you're gonna want access to, you gotta get them from an FMO. So in general, the ability to work directly with the carrier, if available at all, is gonna be challenging because they prefer to work with agents and agencies that can meet certain profitability objectives. So an FMO can offer contracts to agents that you might not be able to acquire individually and direct. They can do this because of the volume, the relationship that they have with the, uh, with the carrier, and this puts an FMO in a very unique position to have a quality selection of products they bring to agents. Now, a good FMO will consistently do their best to get the best contracts with the top companies that they can bring to agents and agencies of all sizes. They should also be a pillar of support, helping you maximize your efforts so that you can, again, truly supercharge your business. But before we get into the real benefits and the tools of working with an FMO, the first thing it's important to understand is the difference uh, between being an independent agent and a captive agent as you're looking at different FMOs you might wanna work with. So an independent agent is not an employee of the FMO or the agency. They're free to contract with any company they want to. Uh, they are their own boss. They set their own hours. They choose the products that they wanna to go to the marketplace with. Truly, an independent agent has more freedom to choose how they do their business, and they generally get rewarded a higher commission rate on their contracts. On the other hand, a captive agent uh, often works for the insurance carrier, the company, the FMO, or the agency, maybe as an employee, although in some instances, the captive agent could be an independent contractor, and he's 1099 by the agency or the FMO. But in either instance, a captive agent is required to take on the products that that FMO offers, only those products, and they'll typically earn a lower commission than an independent agent, but they'll usually get more support, more hands-on support. But nevertheless, that added support and training comes at the cost of lower commissions. So regardless of whether you as the agent uh, end up contracting as captive or independent, one of the first things you really also wanna understand is their release policy of the FMO that you choose. Now, some FMOs will give you an open release policy, meaning that if at any time you decide you wanna part ways with the FMO, you simply ask for a release, stop working with the company, and you still retain your book of business. And there are some great FMOs out there that will straight up give you an open release policy, no strings attached. Uh, that type of relationship is gonna give you the most flexibility for your business, and this relationship allows agents to operate truly like a business, not like an employee. So you don't get locked into something that might not be in your best interest. Alternatively, uh, other FMOs may have limited release options, but really gonna make it difficult for you to get a release easily, or they may not allow you to retain your book of business when they do give you a release. This means that the business that you write with that group is gonna stay with them when you leave. It's not gonna travel with you. So it's essential to be clear on this point before you really select your FMO. Some FMOs are gonna have strings attached to the release policy that might not be in your best interest. So just be sure and ask them about, hey, what is your release policy before I decide to put all my contracts with you? Now, with that said, and kind of getting all of that out of the way, let's take a look at some of the actual benefits in really working with an FMO, the things you truly wanna look for. First and foremost are commissions, right? We all are doing this for the money, so some FMOs will offer you full vested commissions on your sales, right? You wouldn't, wouldn't get paid anymore if you went directly with the carrier, but, and even if that's available, but in addition to the commissions, you're gonna be fully vested, meaning you own all of your business. And outside of that, you should also find some additional benefits that the FMO can bring that a direct carrier appointment can't. Things like quoting tools. Now, most FMOs out there are gonna give you some kind of Medicare approved 
quoting tool. It'll allow you to quote Medicare Advantage products, Medicare Supplement products, Part D prescription drug plan products. And it's great because it helps you be an expert on the market landscape on the fly. So you want to ask your FMO if their quoting tool offers full disclosure, fully transparent, or is it filtered and hiding the products that only they work with because they only want you to see those. Now, they might also give you CRM tools. Uh, some FMOs that want to help you compete more effectively will usually offer some type of a uh, customer relationship management tool. Basically software that helps you track your client from the first contract all the way through enrollments, all the way through commissions and policy management. It'll even include activity options so you can monitor your activities daily, weekly, monthly. Next, they should have top tier products. A strong FMO is generally going to offer agents and brokers with a wide range of product options regional and national brand names from carriers that are highly rated, highly ranked, and certainly highly competitive. Now, there, you're also gonna have to do some certification and a good FMO really is gonna help you with your annual certifications. It might just be getting you a discount on your AHIP training, right? AHIP costs you money, good FMO is gonna give you a discount deal, but they'll also have good guidelines and steps that you need to do as you work through your certifications right? Good solid support, which brings me to the next round. Dedicated support for agents. Experience support's a must for an insurance agent and a good FMO will have an experienced team with deep industry product knowledge to help you understand what it's like to be an agent in today's marketplace, the type of products you should be using and so forth. So the company should assign you a marketer that's dedicated to you that will truly treat you like an owner and a business partner with your success in mind. Because a good FMO knows that they're only successful when the agents they work with are successful. Next is going to be room for growth. Make sure you align yourself with an FMO that will give credit where credit's due. Ensure that the company will provide a commission level that's not only competitive for you, but will increase as your production increases. And maybe they'll, it'll increase as your recruiting increases, assuming that you are maybe recruiting. So you don't want to wait to find out as you hit your goals that that FMO can't give you what you deserve your hard work to grow your business. So choose an FMO that's going to recognize the efforts with upper level contracts and reward you for your efforts. So with all of that said, here's some of the hot questions we think you should be asking an FMO, right? So uh, this is going to make your decision easier. And ultimately, you're just going to rattle these off and write them down. So first is how long has that FMO been in business? Will the FMO assign you a dedicated representative or marketer to deal with? Will the FMO actually pick up the phone when you call them or respond to email promptly? Do they have a support team? Does the FMO offer maybe electronic and expedited contracting? What's their release policy? Is it an open release policy? What kind of tools do they offer? CRMs, technology tools, quoting tools. What kind of product lines do they offer? Medicare products, life products, ancillary products. Do they provide reminders for licensing and appointments as those things expire? And do they help with maybe commission and production audits that might come up? Do they offer any kind of lead assistance, free leads, marketing incentives, whatever? And ultimately, is there room for your contracts and commissions to grow? Are you vested from day one? Will you own your business? So one final thought. If your potential FMO offers most or all of the above, ask if any of your associates are doing business with them. Some of the best reviews you'll ever get are from other agents that are currently working with an FMO or maybe have worked with one in the past and they'll help you determine if it's proper fit for you. So it's a good idea to speak with some agents, but also speak with the rep at the FMO. See what kind of feedback you're getting from them, what kind of attitude they have, how's their service rate. Because a good FMO will usually have a core of experienced markers that have been there for years. You know, choosing an FMO is like choosing a business partner. And outside of having support and from the insurance, the insurance carrier, you need an FMO that's going to help you build a block of business. They'll be there to provide you with the best products, the best support for your business. Even a superhero needs support from time to time. And as you grow your business, a good FMO is going to be that superhero for you and help you out. So do your homework. Make sure that the FMO you choose or FMOs are going to have your best interest in mind. And ultimately, we invite you to give us a call. Talk with one of our experienced marketing staff members and let us help you figure out the best ways that we can help your business grow in the senior space.